Hello sweet sparrows, welcome to the nest. I'd like to invite you to imagine that you were living hundreds of years ago. Hundreds of years ago when we were all connected to the earth and the seasons, the moon phases, the sun, the turning of the wheel, the breath of mother nature, and we knew how to read the sky like a giant star map. And we would be gathering during this week of the shortest days when the darkness arrives early. We would be gathering around fires at this time to give thanks for the sun and all that the sun gives to us during the rest of the year to keep us warm and grow our food. We would be gathering and sharing stories, lighting fires, and sharing this time of quiet rest when we've worked so hard to grow food and harvest it for the winter. We would be resting with the soil that rests during the winter in the cold where the seeds are spending time to grow their energy so they can burst out in the spring. So as we approach the solstice, which is next Monday in seven days on the 21st, now is a good time to think about all the reasons to be thankful for the sun. And after the 21st, the sun starts to come back and we have longer and longer days and shorter and shorter nights. So on the 21st evening, the longest night of the year, that's when people used to gather and have winter solstice rituals to welcome back the return of the sun. And you can do that also by lighting a candle and remembering that you are a bright light also. Even without a flame or a candle, you could just put your hand on your heart, breathe in and breathe out and remember that you are a bright light in this world. Solstice means still sun, the stillness of the sun. And I have a story to read to you and are you sitting comfortably? Are you in your comfy spot? I'm in my comfy spot. I wore a little nest on my head. Can you see that beautiful little nest? It's very light just for you. So if you're in your comfy spot and you have, I'm not going to make thimble tea today because I really would like to read this story to you before this candle burns any lower. So imagine that we are around a fire hundreds of years ago, waiting for the return of the sun and giving thanks for all that it gives to us. I'm going to read this story written by Starhawk from a book called Circle Round. And it's not very long. And it's a beautiful story about this time of year. So are you sitting comfortably? Here we go. This is called The Rebirth of the Sun. Circle round and I'll tell you a story about when the sun was born again. It was the middle of winter and the sun had grown very old. It had worked very hard all year, shining down to warm the earth and grow the seeds and keep the creatures and the people warm. It needed a rest. It had risen and set day after day after day, and all year long the sun had fed everybody on earth, 
shining and shining, giving energy to the trees and the flowers and the grasses so that they could grow and feed the animals and birds and insects and people. All year the sun's gravity held tight to the spinning ball of the earth and the twirling ball of the moon and the eight other twirling, whirling planets as they traveled around and around and around until the poor sun was dizzy watching it all. Now the poor tired sun could hardly make it up in the morning. And after a very short time needed to sleep again. And so the days grew shorter and the nights grew longer until the day was so short it was hardly worth getting up for. And night felt sorry for sun. Come to my arms and rest, child, she said. After all, I am your mother. You were born out of my darkness billions of years ago, and you will return to me when all things end. Let me cradle you now as I shelter every galaxy and star in the universe. So night wrapped her great arms around the sun and the night was very long indeed. Why does the dark go on so long? asked children all over the earth. Won't the sun ever come back again? Well, the sun is very tired, the old one said. But maybe if you children say thank you for all the things the sun does for us, the light may return in the morning. So the children sang songs to the sun. They thought about all the things the sun gave them. Well, thank you for growing the lettuces and the corn and the rice and the wheat, they said. Thank you for growing the trees of the forests and the seaweed in the oceans and the krill that feeds the whales. Thank you for stirring the air and making winds that bring the rain. And every time a child said thank you, the sun began to feel a little warmer, a little brighter. Wrapped safely in the arms of night, the sun grew younger and younger. At last, the children had to go to bed. We will stay up and wait for the sun to rise again, the old one said. Well, can't we stay up too, the children asked. Well, you can try, but you will get too sleepy, the old one said. But you can each light a candle, because all fire is a spark of the sun's fire. Put your candle in a very, very, very safe place and let it keep vigil for you as you sleep and dream of sunrise. So the children lit their candles and put them in a very, very, very safe place, and each flame was a little spark of the sun's fire. And the sun peeped out from between the arms of night, and saw all the little fires and began to feel warmer and brighter and younger still. Early in the morning, the old ones woke the children and together they climbed a high hill and faced to the east, the direction of sunrise and new beginnings. They sang songs to the sun and ran around trying to keep warm. 
they waited and they waited to see what dawn would bring. The sky began to turn from black to indigo to blue and slowly the sky grew light. A golden glow crept over the horizon. Night opened her great arms and in a burst of brightness the sun appeared new and strong and shining. For in the long night the sun had rested well and grown young from the songs and the thanks of the children, young as a brand new baby born out of night once more. Everybody cheered and the children jumped up and down. The sun has returned. The sun is reborn, the people cried. And they danced and they sang to celebrate the birth of a new day. And then they all went home and shared a delicious breakfast together and welcomed each other and their bright lights, just as I am welcoming you and your bright light. From my bright light to your bright light. Mm -hmm.